Times best-selling and internationally acclaimed author, um, Rick Yancey, penned a modern scientific drama, and I can't wait to hear about his new book. Tell us a little bit about the book, Rick, and of course it's going to be a movie, right? Yes, they just finished wrapping the filming of the book, of the movie for the, uh, based on the book. Um, it will be coming out next year, starring Chloe Grace Moretz. Uh, the book is about an alien invasion, but not the kind of alien invasions we usually see. Um, and that was kind of one of the reasons I wrote the book, was um, uh, the way we like to imagine aliens attack us is probably not the way they would actually attack us if they, if they came. Um, and that was the launching point for the story. It's basically the story of a um, young woman who is separated from her family. She loses everyone. Um, and it's the story of her quest to find her baby brother, uh, her one, you know, the last human connection she has. Uh, and it's a thriller. And, and you say it's a thriller, and I always ask this question because I want to know, how does that mind create the story where there are aliens in fear? Like, what's your inspiration, and where do you get these ideas from? I'd always loved science fiction, and actually the story grew out of a conversation that I had with my wife. Late one night, I was asking her, you know, you know, tell me about your greatest fears, because that's when we talk about fear, right, at nighttime? So she said my greatest fear would be attack, uh, being abducted by aliens, which, you know, that's not even in my top 50. <laughs> but I said, really, why? And she said, well, it's not just the terror of being abducted by an, an alien, but it's if they returned you to Earth, nobody would believe Leave you when you told them, they would just think that you were crazy. So it would be that terrible, also, also that terrible feeling of isolation in this in this horrible truth that you had, that everyone would just assume was a lie. So that kind of dovetailed with my love of science fiction, and I thought, you know, instead of you know writing just another story of you know the kind of alien invasion that we like to imagine, what if I wrote an alien invasion that would most you know likely happen if it did? And that's kind of like where the story came from, how it evolved. Well, I like it, and listen, I can imagine. Imagine as you're writing um, a book like this, you're thinking maybe in the back of your mind, how would this work if it were a movie? Does that go through your head? Oh, of course. And I, I'm the kind of writer where I want to, I want my readers to just visualize this story. I want it to seem as if, you know, it's happening in front of them in a kind of a visual or visceral way. So uh, I thought, you know, this would make a, a, a really cool film. It stars some fantastic actors. Chloe Grace Moretz, who is in uh, If I Stay is the star. She stars as Cassie. Uh, Alex Rowe, her co-star, is a terrific young actor. Um, just getting his start. Um, he's going to be really big. Nick Robinson from Jurassic World also appears in the film. So, you know, it's going to be fantastic. I'm so excited. I've got stills and stuff that I'm going to be posting on my website and on my Twitter account and through Facebook where fans will have, you know, fans of the book will actually have an immersive experience uh, leading up to the movie and, and beyond. Well, it sounds so interesting. I can't wait to both read and see the movie. It, I think it's going to be fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you. My Have a pleasure. great one. All righty, take care. You too. Well, you can find Rick's book, The Fifth Wave, wherever you buy your favorite reads. We're back with more of the broadcast right after this.